Man, all of a sudden it got dark. It's rainy out today. A quite dreary day. And it looks like just within the past, I say, minute, the winds start picking up. So I'm wondering if a storm is coming now. I heard people say that sometime next week we're expecting snow. I hate snow. The only time I like the snow is when it first fall and I'm doing a photo shoot. That's when it's beautiful out. After that, the snow plows, the shoveling, the ice, the cold weather. I don't like that, right? That's the only thing I don't like about New York outside of the messed up gun laws and the high taxes. But anyway, I'm gonna try to keep this video short because I'm on my way home now before it start raining too hard, right? But <clears throat> I wanna speak on the fool. Now a fool could be anyone, right? A male could be a fool, a female could be a fool, white man could be a fool, black man could be a fool. Anybody could be a fool. But I wanna talk about the black fool, primarily the black males. They're not men, they're black males. Now I expect to get some thumbs down in this video because of course, I have a stalker. I have a stalker that visits my videos. I don't know why this person click on my videos knowing that this person really don't like me. And maybe it's somebody that do like me because you have people that have strange ways of expressing themselves it's like the little boy in school that likes the little girl and he like would spit spit balls at her this is back in the day because i'm sure that don't go on now he would pull at her hair he would pick at her that's his way of letting her know that he like her that he's interested in her well we're living in a society now where dudes are worse than females Especially after this LGBT community nonsense that Obama introduced to America. That's the stuff he promoted. So now you have a lot of dudes that's still on the down low. But they make it known to other dudes. Or they try to make it known to other dudes that they really like them. They're interested. But they really don't know how to approach the dude. Because they fear they might end up running up, or run up on somebody like myself and they will be floored. Just point blank, simple, right? Um, I could be at the casino and that's, this is not what this video is about, but I could be at the casino and you have dudes, man, that's just creepy stalking, man, walking around, looking at you crazy. I guess in their own way, they, they, they're waiting and they're expecting for you to smile at them on the side, but that's a dude. The only thing they're going to get me get from me is they're going to get that mean mug look like don't tread on me because I will put you down. Right. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. But again, I have a stalker. I have a stalker that's going to all my videos and just thumbing them down. Just take a look at it. Just thumbing them down. Just got nothing else better to do with life. I mean, life is huge, man. It's much huge than people give it credit for. But you have people that waste their life hating on someone else. But anyway, I want to talk about the fool. Now, that's the type of fool. That's a fool. Because you don't know who they are because they never show their face. They just come to your video and just thumb it down, right? But um, I just think it's some type of mental disorder that that individual have or people like that have. But on with the video. I've always lectured my sons and tried to guide them in the right direction. Now, everybody plays a fool sometimes. There's no exception to the rules. There's a song that came out back in my time. Everybody plays the fool. But there's fools that is an unnecessary fool. What is an unnecessary fool? An unnecessary fool is a dude that would get so caught up in a female's looks, her smile, 
her butt. She may have good coochie. And then she may be, to a lot of black dudes, she could be a Puerto Rican or white chick or she's light complexion. So that in itself drives a lot of fools crazy because they're not looking at the qualities, the real qualities that this female might have, right? They're not looking at the fact that she's a thinker, that she's independent, that she's a go-getter when it comes to things she want in life. So when you look at the fool, he opens himself up to be used by that female. Now, I've always been told as a little boy that by my mother, don't be nobody's fool. I've always been told as a little boy, as a matter of fact, me, my brother, and my sisters were always told by my mother, don't be nobody's fool, right? So you have dudes out there that are fools because they get with a chick that's got nothing. And what's interesting to me, this is a side note, what's interesting to me is that you had females that always complained about men treating them like a piece of meat. They always talked about that the man don't look at what they have upstairs in their brain, right? And they wanted to be respected and looked at more than just a piece of meat. Somebody the dude can, you know, lay down and sleep with, get up and walk away. Leave her with the baggage, even if she becomes pregnant or even with a disease. He like walks away and leaves her because she really meant nothing to him because to him she had no value. Right? So, but it's what interesting to me is you have a lot of females that had that mindset and they complained about dudes that disrespect them and use them as a piece of meat or view them as a piece of meat. And it's gotten to the point where dudes start losing their jobs. They start getting in trouble, being brought up on charges, sexual assault charges. So now that you have a lot of dudes that backed away from these chicks, when you sign on to Facebook or Instagram and even YouTube, all you see is these females putting their butt their half naked butt in front of a video camera showing it off trying to get the attention of dudes the same attention that they told dudes that they really didn't want so now you watching them on instagram put their butt and some of them put their butt their their butt close to the camera right it's like right there and you can be out in public and you happen to sign on your phone, man. You go on Instagram and you have people walking back and forth behind you. And the minute you pull up Instagram, you see this butt looking at you like this. Just close up. And you quickly like try to click out of that, man, because you don't want nobody to think that you're a pervert looking at nude females or somebody, some female's butt that's this close to the camera, right? So... But you got females that used to complain about dudes, man. And now they're presenting themselves as a piece of meat to get the attention of dudes. Just to be able to brag and say that this dude is in my inbox. This dude is thirsty. And this dude is creepy. But yet you have your half naked butt in front of a video camera. Anyway, that was just a sidebar note. Right? Because I get... Sometimes I get off track a little bit because other thoughts come to my mind, right? But we're talking about the fool. So therefore, you have a lot of females that play the fool. And then you have the fool, the dude that make the unwise choices, the imprudent choices. He's a clown. And a lot of these women know that these dudes are clowns. So she's got nothing. She, she comes to the table with nothing. And you may have a decent job. You may have a business. You know, you're self-employed. You're doing well for yourself. And she comes with nothing. Nothing but a big butt and a smile. And dude would like move this chick into his house. You may have a child. A son or a daughter. You may have kids that you have custody of. Because now you have dudes that have custody over their kids. Right? Right? One thing I give a lot of females credit for, at least back in the day, was that they just didn't let any dude come in their house. And they would tell dudes, man, there's women that would tell guys like, no, 
I have a daughter, I have a son, I have children, and I'm not going to bring no man in over my children. My children come first, and if you can't accept my child, then you can't accept me because we come as a package. So she give that dude an option, whereas dudes can be single parent dads, and a female come to the table, she may have children, but yet she don't accept your children. She wants to try to push your child out the way to get your undivided attention. Now she's coming to the table with nothing but a big butt, a smile, and some kids. She'll have you babysitting her kids, but yet can you really trust her with your child or with your children? And then you would move her into the house. She's paying nothing. Now, all the, re the responsibilities come down on you because now your mind is psyched into believing that you being a man, you're supposed to take care of everything. You're supposed to struggle while she's living now. That, keep in mind, that's not your wife. She's driving your car because she has no car, wasting up your gas. And if you happen to, if she happened to get into an accident and you lose your vehicle, she's not going to put in for you to get another vehicle. She's not going to say, oh, I'm sorry for uh, destroying or wrecking your car. Here, let me pay you. You're going to have to do that. Now, you get a brand new vehicle, and then you got her driving that new brand new vehicle. She don't put gas in it. She don't get the oil chains. She don't get the brakes chains. Nothing. You pay for that. Plus, you pay for your mortgage or your rent and your utilities and the food that she eat up. And she, she contributes nothing to the table but sex. So it's like you got you a living prostitute. So there are so many dudes out there, man, that's foolish. And of course you have females that do the same thing, but this is about the dudes. And maybe I'll do a video later on about the females, the female fool, that have dudes moving into their house over their kids and living off of her while she's working double shifts to keep things going and then he get to play the role of the man without even taking on the responsibilities of a man. But you have a lot of dudes out there, man, that play the fool. We see that on paternity court where dudes, after he find out this female deceived him, lied to him, put him down as a deadbeat, talk about how he don't take care of the kids, he don't spend no time with the kids, and then find out it's not his child. And what does that dude do? Oh, I'm still going to be there. I'm still going to take care of just to get an applause from the audience and from the judge so that he don't have to walk away looking like that you're deadbeat. You're dud because, yes, although that's not your child, it you still can be a father of that child and you walk, walk away feeling good. But how many females are willing to do that with you? How many females are willing to stick by you and help support your child, take care of your child like it's her own. But she expects you to do that with her kids. So, fellas, stop playing the fool. Stop moving these chicks into your house. If she can't pay, if she can't take care of some of the responsibilities, if she can't at least pay for the cable, pay for your gas, if your car needs new brakes, get the brakes fixed, Especially if she's driving it more than you drive it. And what you're doing is you're opening the door for her to cheat on you. See, because you at work, she's got your car parading up and down the street, right? Or she's got you babysitting her children. And she's parading up and down the street in your car telling you she's going to work. And then she's, got, she's going to see some other dude on the side or maybe her baby daddy. That she's still tight with, but she's got you thinking that it's just my baby daddy. Right? So, dudes, stop playing the fool. Stop taking care of other men's kids. And stop moving these females into your house and they can't contribute nothing to the pot. Why are you being a fool? And then, there was a female I saw on TV, and I'm going to end this video before the video clicks off. But this female told the dude... That she used him. She called him a fool. She said she used him. For a place to stay. And he like moved her into his place. He took care of her. He upgraded her. Right. And then after she got on her feet. She gave this dude her behind the kiss. And then she cheated on him. 
had a baby on him with another dude and then said, I only used him. I only used him to get, you know, what he had. You know, I had no place to stay. I had no food. I had no job. I didn't have nothing, but he was the sucker. So I used him as a sucker. He moved me into his house and he upgraded me. He made sure I was taken care of. He got me back on my feet. And now I'm giving him my behind a kiss. That's what this female said. And there's a lot of dudes out there playing the role of a fool. You're playing the role of a sucker. Let these chicks go. Let them go. Because the minute you find out that's not your child and then you agree on national television to stay there and then when it's then when it's really time for you to leave you can't leave now the courts won't let you leave because you're the only father that child knows you're the only father that child knows and then that child might even grow up to give you their behind the kiss because the mom is going to fill that child's mind with that's not your dad and when it comes to you disciplining that child like a father should then she's going to tell you quickly you can't put your hands on my child. Don't touch my child. I know cases where dudes raise other men's kids. And then the female, when she got mad at him, when things went south, then she said, he sexually touched my son. He sexually touched my daughter. She lied on the dude. And then the dude not only got in trouble by the law, but he couldn't have no contact with the kids that he invested in. So stop being the fool for these females out there. And I see so many young black males that's doing that because they don't have that guidance. And unfortunately, a lot of black females are going to take the side with the female that deceived these dudes. They're going to try to encourage these dudes to stay with that female and take care of that child that she produced with another man. She's going to make you feel like that's a part of manhood. That's what you're supposed to do because you are a man. But I'm here to tell you to stop playing the fool. Stop taking in other people's kids. I posted a meme on Facebook, man, and Facebook removed it because all I said was told it, telling dudes to stop taking care of other women's kids. Another man see. She didn't give you the coochie. She cheated on you. But yet she's going to pick and choose who she want her child's father to be. And it's you because she see a sucker. She sees someone that's doing quite well for himself and she want a piece of that. And then after she use you for what you have, then she's going to tell you, you ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing, but it was enough to sustain her, to get her back on her feet. So stop being the fool until next time. I'm fearless.